Welcome to the Riot Podcast. Hello, everybody. This is me pre-vaccine. <laughs> Stop so, it. What? Even though if we don't say anything and then like tomorrow something does happen, you're like, this is the last moment before Obi had all that. <laughs> you're going to be fine. You're really going to be fine. You know what? I'm worried, honestly. For the show? I, I'm i more concerned about my ability to do this job than I am about, like, I don't care. I don't care. But I think Michael might kill me. Like, I think he, he I think he might kill me. Oh, my goodness. If, like, if I don't make it. So that, if he doesn't come in tomorrow. I will, I'm probably oh. dead, but not from the COVID vaccine. Someone else. Michael killed me. Well, and, you know, you're on vacation next week, too. So it just doesn't. We already had those days planned, but we can't plan any more days. We're running out of stuff here. So we'll we'll see what happens. <sighs> Join us for the pot. Oh, here. Come back tomorrow for to updates on the podcast it. to see if Obi makes it from his COVID vaccine or not. Dun, dun, dun. So there, that'll tie it in for tomorrow's show. Yeah. Okay. So let's talk, Nikki. In today's show, we talk Knives Out. Yeah. The sequels. No, <laughs> Knives Out and Out Again. Yeah. And a third time. <laughs> One more time for the Knives. Uh, we talk about how louder is better. We do talk a little April Fools, uh, though we don't do any April Fools. No. Um, let's see. We The vaccine comes up a couple times. We talk about delaying Mortal Kombat, the movie. Um, oh, Del- Delta Airlines. The middle and seat. Guys, wait till you hear what like I got two emails today. <laughs> and if it feels like I'm sitting a little taller, it's because I am. Those are good ones. They re- oh, <laughs> just warms the heart, you know? So we're heading over right now to go do our after show. So when you're done with this podcast, if it all works out, head over also to Radio You Riot on our Facebook page. It's cool if you just follow us there. That way, as a podcast listener, you can check out more stuff we're doing. Uh, but we're going to do a food fight after show with some new Peeps flavors. And we'll try the mango Pepsi that's been in our fridge for a week or two. So... Yeah, and we even have a note out, Pepsi. Yeah, and I, wanted, I here's wanted the, us to remember. What gets me is that I, I swear, I already told, like, Chris asked about that note. We explained it to him. I participated in that explanation. But and I forgot? had forgotten about it. <laughs> We're trying the Pepsi mango. <laughs> so when you're done with the podcast again, hop over to Radio U Riot, watch on Facebook, or you can also watch a Radio U Riot on our YouTube channel. Sorry, I was I'm taking a drink of your taking coffee. Taking a drink of coffee. I, I wasn't ready. I thought say, there was more. Say goodbye, <laughs> uh, normal OB. <sighs> you know what? He wasn't the best, but he was pretty good. You knew him well. <laughs> he, he was all right. Oh, bye. Bye. The definition of insanity is putting the riot on again and again and expecting a better result. It's the worst of the riot on Radio U. You know what? The last hurdle is down. What do, you mean? I, <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I, I mean, up until now, it's been like thing after thing, barrier after barrier. But uh, the the road between Porsche and I is now open. <laughs> so um, I, I'm i ready to get one now. You want to get a, a Porsche, a car? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And uh, it's they're now like up until now, they've only had like the Apple car kind of stuff. But they've just added Android Auto, they say, starting next year. But you don't have Android anymore. Well, I know, but I want to have the option. Oh, okay. Just in case. So, you know, <laughs> it's one of those things like when you're switching out chargers or whatever, and it's like, oh, here we go. Uh, now, uh, if I go from uh, the 911 to the 911 2022. Sure. Um, and then I decide to myself, like, you know... I really am more of a Ferrari guy and I'm ready to trade out Then I won't feel like, oh, I have to keep it because, you know, I've got my my phone here. Now, I, you know, you can trade out. You feel I can feel good about that. And how much is that going to run? <laughs> oh, I you're not looking at that. You don't look at the price. <laughs> For a Porsche, why would you, like? <laughs> well, would I know you, you know you don't want to you don't want that to be the first thing that you talk about because it's about a feeling and like is that the right car for you? But I don't want you to be too surprised when you do find out what it'll take for you to actually have it. Well, it's probably not as expensive as you think because, like, I don't know if you've noticed, uh, but a lot of times Apple devices are very expensive and Android devices you've got a variety you can pay a little less. So I figure. 
you know, probably. The Android compatible one is cheaper? Oh, yeah. That's what I, I mean. That makes sense to me. I don't know. I I still want you to be prepared so you're not to. What did they call it? Sticker shock? I don't want you to feel that when you realize how expensive this car is. No, they probably have like a monthly payment plan. Oh, well, they like, do. But it, we, it, we've not had that type of monthly payment before. I mean, what do you think? Like, I mean, I've got. Netflix and HBO right now. So, like, we cancel HBO and <laughs> oh, then I'll probably enough. have enough. Oh, yeah, that'll be fine. You can get the car then. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, it seems fine to me. It's nice. Is there any other details about it or just that it's an Android compatible one? Well, I mean, just a heads up that Porsche or Porsche, I don't know, however you want to say it, uh, that those people. Yeah. They're adding uh, Android Auto, which means that you can use Google Maps right from your Android phone. There it is. Yeah, everybody's been waiting just for that. Well, it's kept, it's kept me out. <laughs> so, um, you know, Apple Car- CarPlay will still be a, you know, possibility if you want it. You want to have a backup car just in case if you, or are you just comfortable with your own car well, still? Well, I have, like, I have my own now, and that just, that's just like a Bluetooth thing. Sure. It's got no integration uh, which means that the good thing about that is like it's, uh, you know, what do they call it? Uh, it's agnostic. It does not believe phones exist. No, you can uh, or it thinks they might exist. It's not sure. It wants them to. <laughs> uh, but is that what it is? Yeah. But I mean, like with the Bluetooth thing, but, you know, like uh, I, you know, I might be ready to move up. I don't know. could be too soon. Haven't gotten a look at some of the other 2022 offerings. out Sure. There yet. You'll just have so. to wait and see. Right. <laughs> We've got an archive of everything stupid the riot has ever said at your fingertips. This is the worst of the riot podcast. Mortal Kombat. Oh. The new movie. Oh, it's not going to be good, guys. So don't like take this as a we're excited because it's going to be a good movie. It's not, but it's there. So here we are, Nikki. Yeah. When is it supposed to come out? Well, it was supposed to come out on April 14th or mm-hmm. maybe it was 15th. It doesn't matter that much. 16th, April 16th. OK, because it was a Friday um, and now they're saying it's not going to be out until April 23rd. Oh, they're moving it a week. Yeah. Which is exactly what HBO Max did to Godzilla versus Kong. Now, why <laughs> would you do that? Do they want more time for Godzilla? I think they want another week out of or another month out of you. That's you what know, I think. Because they assume when you signed up for HBO Max, if you wanted Godzilla, they want to try to keep it to where these movies hit every like so many days so that you're probably likely to have to pay for another month of the service, mm-hmm. not to have two movies within the same like billing cycle. That's right. That's sneaky. Oh, it is. Because see, remember, we did the math and we were able to sign up for Justice League and with one month's payment, we could hit Justice League Godzilla, Mortal Kombat. And Mortal Kombat, yeah. Because you're not thinking it's not from, like, Godzilla. You have to go back. It was for Justice League. They think you got Justice League and then just carried through. And they're right. So they're moving it for one week. (laughs) Now I have to decide... Do I let HBO Max renew for Mortal Kombat? For Mortal Kombat, is that still a, is that going to be in theaters too? I think so. Okay. Like I think that's they're the all, deal with all the HBO all Max theaters. stuff. It's like it's going to be in theaters and on HBO Max. We'll have to wait for reviews. <laughs> Why don't we just wait for that? <laughs> see what see what they say. <laughs> There's no need to decide yet. Okay, but <laughs> I definitely when I saw that I was like. Uh-huh. There it is. They want one more month out of you for paying. Uh-huh. Yeah. Look who's getting sneaky. After Mortal Kombat, I know they have like a movie a month, but I don't recall the rest of the like summer schedule for the movies. I'll have to look that back up. I think it's mostly stuff we just won't care about. Probably so. <laughs> All the stuff we cared about was right about now. Yeah. Well, here we go. I just decided to check Godzilla versus Kong. Holding strong at 80%. That's a really tomatoes. good number for it. That, the plan is to watch it today or at least through the weekend. Obi's out next week on vacation, so we won't be able to get a review on your thoughts about it unless you watch it today. Yes, that that's my plan. So, fingers crossed. Okay. <laughs> fingers crossed. Okay, we'll see what happens. All right. The riot is well-versed on many different topics. They're shy at first, but they're quite skilled at conversation. This is The Riot on Radio U. So, Nikki, if something happens to me, I want you to have my rock collection. Oh, I'm so honored. I don't know what that means. I want it to be you. Okay, great. Nothing's happening today, but just in case, you want me to... 
Are you going to leave it in the studio? You want me to watch over it? Uh, I'll leave it at home with a note. And hopefully, you know, whoever my next of Ken is when they find it. <laughs> it'll, it'll go there. They'll see it and be like, oh, these were, I mean, you know, I'm probably not going to have it, you know, notarized by a lawyer or whatever. But like, I just want you guys, everybody publicly to hear it. I want Nikki to have my rock collection. Uh, and uh, that's because today I'm going to get my uh, first shot of my vaccine. Yeah. Yeah. But and, you won't know uh, which one until you get there. I don't. They don't tell you ahead of time. No. But you'll be fine. Though it's the people, first some one. People you're fine. Know. Like some people know, but like I don't know. Um, well, but, the place you're going does not tell. Uh, can I just tell you, I really hope I don't walk in and they're like, we got plenty of AstraZeneca left. <laughs> just don't want that one. I don't want that one. Well, then just say no then if you don't want that one. Ask if there's something else or you just reschedule for another day with something else. You're like, hey, do you guys have you anything? You have control over that. Do you guys have anything else? Like, we got mumps and measles. You want that? <laughs> no. No, I just meant in the, the vaccine lineup. What do we got? Yeah. Because, man, like, okay, maybe everybody, maybe it's fine. But, like, that's the one that Germany was like, no, you can't have it. And then they came back out and they were like, oh, we're kidding. It's fine. That, to me, was like, um, okay. I'm on board for vaccination, but something there feels a little shady. Well, was another one. Well, in Europe, it's different, cause, and things are called it in different names in different parts. But is that because of the potential for blood clots for older people? I think so. Yeah, but again, that's that's an older. Yeah, but all right. Here's the thing. Yesterday, what did we see? We saw this guy that got the, one of the shots, and like all the skin peeled off his legs or whatever. Well, guess what? I got another one right here. Here's Leah. Um, she, she has an insane rash from the vaccine in sit like terrifying rash from the vaccine. The kind of thing where like well, a lot of so times, painful. a lot of times I'll laugh and be like, ah, Nikki, don't tell them about your rash. No. And we all have a good chuckle. Not this. That's not what this Aww. is guys. Well, you don't normally get this though. You don't normally have any allergy problems to a to medication. To no. medication. I've, you should I've be actually, just fine. I've never had a reaction like this. They say the common knock on I composite. Know, right? You're like, don't say anything. The common uh, side effects tends to be just tenderness like where you get your actual oh, injection. Will I come in and cry? Like, Nikki, I just love you so much. <laughs> Save that for tomorrow. We'll see what happens. <laughs> and I'm like, man, he's the nicest after having this shot. I have. I just want to, I just all the feels today. I don't know what it is. They say you just might feel unwell, feel tired. These are like every day, just to let you know, too. Uh, chills, feverish, headache, feeling sick, like nauseous, and then joint pain or muscle aches. So COVID. Well, and a lesser thing, yeah. But and that's normally not till the second shot. So you should really be fine tomorrow. It's gonna be fine. Don't all go right. in worrying about all of it. That'll cause well, you know, your I, more you problems. I had no worries about it until I scheduled my appointment. And now I'm like <laughs> I, I can't stop thinking about the, it. All the stories like in the news, I'm like, ah, nobody cares. It's fine. This is ridiculous. And now that it's my turn, it's like Oh, my. <laughs> Don't look at the stories anymore. I think we've made a huge mistake. <laughs> I think you're going to be totally fine and you will you won't have any issues. I don't need to worry about tomorrow with your rock collection and all your stuff. OK, well, I listen, I'm not worried I just wanted to make sure that you just don't want everybody, anything else. Why? And I just wanted everybody to know that, like, when there's that big fight in my family and they're like, I get the rocks. I want him to go to Nick. Well, Jason, thanks for texting. He said, you're lucky. The vaccine secretly probably created with cat dander because Opie's very allergic to cats. <laughs> very allergic. Oh, but it is. They don't tell you, but that's the secret ingredient in that shot. Oh, let's see. Worst case scenario. Could I get your next gen console if you die? That's what Jerome wants. Like, you know what, Jerome? Uh, let. Yeah, okay, you can have one of them. One? You can't have them both. got to tell it. you got to write this all down in case something happens. You don't want to just leave this out here. I want fighting for all your stuff. Yeah. I think I'll let my my friend Ethan have my Xbox, and then, Jerome, you could probably have the PlayStation. That's more your thing anyway. All right, well, we'll, you'll have time. Okay. (laughs) And to Michael, I leave my smile. (laughs) Don't go through the whole list. The worst of the worst. Are you ready? The Riot Podcast. Radio U. Radio U. Radio U. Radio U. Radio U. You know, I'm not going to mention any names, but uh, 
I just had somebody text us and talk about trying to stay positive. And um, I want you to know that staying positive isn't a bad thing. You know, it's like right, it because walking around being negative all the time isn't necessarily a great thing. Right. But can I just let you in on a secret? Uh, there has become this weird thing where like Jesus is somehow wrapped up in this power of positivity message. Mm. Uh, no, like Jesus is not a used car salesman. He's not even a televangelist, you know, to people on TV. Uh, Jesus is who he is. He's God. Like that's, I mean, we can get into the whole Easter thing later if you want, but I mean, bottom line is he knows what's going on with you. And this pressure that somebody somewhere put on us to be positive all the time, man, screw that. Are you having a hard time? Go have a hard time with God. Go tell God. Because here's the thing is when we take some time and talk to God, that's called prayer. Uh, That's not the place where we go make a speech to God and, you know, it's some scene from a war movie where we're about to go out. And so we have to give God a rousing speech. And if we can get him excited enough, maybe God's going to help us. No, that's the space where we get real. You see, we don't encourage God. God encourages us. Like, we don't stay positive for Jesus. Jesus is the one that we trust in, and he's the one that can come along and actually give us some help. So I just want to say to every person in in our audience today that you feel like you need to stay positive, man, why? No. You don't have to. I'm not saying, well, what I said I have to be positive. So I hate this show and I hate you. And I, I'm not talking about being a jerk. I'm talking about the burden of when things aren't going very well and you're supposed to act like, oh, that's the best that's ever happened. I love it here. Oh, yeah. You don't have to do that. Look, if you don't have a relationship with God, would you start one? And would you start it with honesty? You don't have to. Make anything up. You can just be real with God. Say, Jesus, I want that. I want you in my life. I want you to fill me with your spirit. And you know, God, I need some help because this sucks. And don't don't be afraid to tell God. Again, you don't have to give him a speech and hope that, man, my speech was so good. God went off to war and things happened. No, just be honest with him. Let him get involved. The Riot Radio U. Now, Nikki, uh, I did the impossible yesterday. It actually wasn't me. It was David. Uh, he's a friend of mine from back in the day. Yeah. And he got an Xbox for me. Uh, so he, is he just like finding them and yes. then giving them out to friends so who then have I'm, to buy them? Yeah, I mean, like I paid him for it. Yeah. So like he, it wasn't that he like, well, overnight it's everything he ever wants. No, I still had to pay for it. Uh, but he did the finding for me. So he works in IT and he's like, yeah, I'm at my computer all day or I'm in meetings all day. But because of COVID, he's in meetings at home. Mm-hmm. And so he's just like, yeah, uh, I'll find one for you. And I actually thought I was like, eh, we'll see. Like, you know, how you have some people that say that and you're like, they'll forget we even talked. But when it, for him, I was like, I'll bet he does it. Like, <laughs> I, I'll bet he finds one for and me. He did. He totally did. He totally did. So now so, you have the new Xbox. I do. And if you're like, how is it? Well, uh, has the box. Maybe we should just test that I, if you haven't opened you it what? yet. I opened it last night. I got it plugged in. I got it updated. It seems very fast, like the interface and stuff, but I essentially, I have no discs, Xbox discs. Um, oh, for games, you mean? Right. So when I sold my Xbox One X, I sure. I kept the, or I, I gave all the games with ah, it. Ah, so now you got to get a game. Yeah. So like I own plenty of games digitally, but that means you have to download them. So I set up a download and went to bed. <laughs> Perfect plan. Yay. Right. So, uh, you know, I, <laughs> what a wonderful console, no right? Problem. No problem. It's great. It's great. <laughs> Actually, when you don't use a lot of discs, that is the problem you have to remember. Yeah. You got to, you got to download and games are pretty big. So I went ahead and uh, basically signed back up for game pass, started some downloads and didn't fool with it very much. The one thing I will say that's weird is that it, it's almost like getting a new phone in that, you know, like if you got like I got you the iPhone 11 and then you, the iPhone 12 and you had them next to each other. Yeah, like there are some differences, but the operating system is the same. Sure. So they each get the update. So there's kind of an element of like, I think it's going faster. Is it going faster? <laughs> well, you won't be able to really tell until you start playing a game. Right. And that was just interesting how when I plugged it in, I actually at one point had to remind myself that, hey, 
That's a new, new Xbox. <laughs> That's not your old one. Aww. But I, I again, mean, you'll notice it. I'm sure once you start playing something. Yeah, I, I'm sure too. And I like. I'm glad to have it. I've got some friends I'm going to play with. You know, on Xbox, which is part of why I wanted to get it. The other part is I'm stupid, and they sent me money, and so yeah, I mean, it's the whole thing. So <laughs> we can blame the uh, blame the stimulus. Is that it? <laughs> I mean, I see people doing stimulus. Like I saw somebody the other day. They're they are building a swing set in their backyard. This is like down the street from me or whatever. And I went over and talked to them, and it's like they're not building a swing set. They are building a child complex, <laughs> a compound. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like four or five wings, like all these different things. And I'm just like, my, I'm not even sure my house is this nice right now. <laughs> to be honest with you, but like, I mean, though they'd be jealous. They're like, yeah. I just went to the Xbox. You know, I, that, a lot of people want that now. I just told them that I would forever refer to it as the house that Biden built. I was like, I know you're assembling it, but this is the house that Biden built. Maybe it should be the house that Biden bought. There are some people that shouldn't have their own podcast. And by some people, we mean these people. Radio U's Worst of the Riot podcast. You know, I became fully prepared to uh, make fun of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle uh, because they, you know, they say once they have their next baby, they're going to take some time off. Some quality, like some So they can have some time quality off. time together. And does anybody want to guess what Obi's response to that was? Time off from, from what? what? <laughs> and that's not jealousy. It's just an actual honest question. I mean. Just an honest question. I realize they, I keep seeing things where like, they were on a Zoom call the other day and surprised somebody. And I'm just like, wow. Don't look at it. It's just going to bug wow. you. Wow. <laughs> they were on a whole Zoom call all by themselves for it. Wow. No. They live in a world where someone got it all set up, ready, did everything for them. <laughs> it just had lighting, everything. It wasn't like our Zoom call setups. And the stress is is real. You know, like that, it's tough out there. And so I can see why they would... Want some time off. Yeah. Sure, sure. I can see why they would need a break. So, you know what? I I just want to walk it back, Nikki. I was going to make fun of them, but ugh, I'm so glad. You know what it is? Like, I'm just glad that they care about themselves. Self-care. Enough. Self-love. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's self-care. Mm-hmm. It is. And so I'm really glad that they're <laughs> they're taking care of themselves because it's felt like it's tough out there. <sighs> Um, it, it, you, everybody else might be fine. You're like, what's the big deal? You don't understand. There's just certain uh, sections of celebrity world where all of our news sources just focus on for too much. a really long amount of time. And they've just had a lot of focus on them. And I just it gets really hard to see all the articles that just like with every other celebrity, they create these articles really about nothing, like they have oh, nothing yeah, that's yeah, going on. And absolutely. So when you see every day them trying to make stuff out of this this couple, it just gets a bit exhausting to read. Like, well, what what big thing did we do today? And <laughs> and you might say, like, well, don't read it. No, we're we're we not. have to go through it's all just, those. It's in the headlines, and so just the headlines become annoying after a while. Yeah. And again, just this whole thing, like we're we're gonna take some you know some quality time off. And it really is like, what? What if you, what, the Oprah interview was too much? What? Just, that headline bugged him. <laughs> oh. Oh, my gosh. Just let it, just, you know what? In and right on out. Don't it's keep fine. it in. If you if you just internalize that, it's going to make you mad. It's like, Obadiah doesn't support leave for parents. No, don't even. Don't get me started. It's not what they're saying. Real parents do need some leave. This, again, their life is leave. I would, like... I would pay to have their job and live. Wait, now wait. Are you know we? What? You're right. You know what? We don't have to worry about that, do we? Okay. What a relief that I don't have to worry. All right. I bet there's a lot of challenges. You know what I'm going to do, guys? Uh, I'm just going to go. I'm yelling at their privilege and listen to my own. I'm going to go get a donut. <gasps> I mean, my gosh. <laughs> You're going to go in there and get one. Come on. I don't even have to go that far. They're just sitting there. And you have vacation there. next week, so you're I've no different. Of, I thought about that, too. I was like, says the guy that's going on vacation. You are no different. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're just not having articles written about you. Write an article about that. <laughs> the riot. Just because it's bad doesn't mean it's not good. Wait, isn't that exactly what it means? It's the riot on Radio U. Nikki, let's talk about your anxiety. Mm-hmm. Like, how bad is it these days? Is it bad? Is it bad? It's really bad. I, I 
actually can get pretty anxious for real, and yeah. it just depends on the situation. Do you think you have high functioning anxiety? Because uh, I have a checklist. We love checklists. Oh yeah. Do you want to take this quiz? I do. Yeah. Let me totally see. Okay. Let's take this quiz. Wait a minute. <laughs> we got to get the the buzzer and the beater out. You have a noise every time. Let's see. We can we all got... take it together, guys. Yeah, it's fun. We're gonna take this quiz together. All right, and then ready? Ready. Okay. Here we go. Five signs of high functioning anxiety. Number one, overthinking the smallest, most mundane things. Yeah, sure. Okay. Oh, no. You're right now, you're at 100%. Yeah. 100%. (laughs) Two, blaming yourself for others' faults, Uh, such as someone not texting you back. So, like, it's your fault. No, I don't really do that. Yeah. That, I, that's good. I do that, but that's a leftover from the gaslighting some people did to me in my childhood, where it was like, oh, son, we wanted to see you, but yeah, you forgot to call that. at exactly 223. And making it your fault. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, number three, constantly being afraid of saying or doing something wrong or stupid. Uh, maybe half, maybe half of that. So, in this- that, that's my in-between sound. That's the in-between. I, I won't say that again. So. Okay. All right. Uh, so r- so right now we're at 1.5 for three. Sure. All right. Number four, declining invitations to social events because you feel overwhelmed. Uh, well, also, I just don't really want to. So, <laughs> but do I not want to because of you anxiety? Yeah, I'll take a yes on that. All right. And then uh, number five, yeah. Mickey, keeping in mind that right now you're like three and a half. I'm high functioning. Always imagining the worst case scenario. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Do you really? Yeah. Like, but okay. You and I have a great time imagining it on the air. Woo! We really do. Oh, yeah. But do you think that it's like. Is it just leftovers from on the air? Well, no. What I mean <laughs> is, do you, it's one thing to be able to, you know, like. Turn it off? Just to, no, to conjure it. Oh, but sure. like, cause you know, I was raised in a house where my mom always gave the worst case scenario. Mom, I'm going to go to the store. No, People it's... go to the store and die. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I myself will tell myself the worst thing could possibly happen from what you have to do. So, yes, I will. I would say that. Okay. All right. Well, Nikki, you have high functioning anxiety according oh, to this internet quiz. Yay. Congratulations to me. I just think it's awesome that you won. Well, what do I get? Um, oh, you already have it. Nervousness, <laughs> anxiety. You know what, Nikki? I'll tell you what you should do is practice mindfulness and just relax. Sure. You I, know, they say one of the things that I saw is like, uh, they say to like, okay, you imagine a worst case scenario. Yeah. Play it all the way out. Oh, like, I don't keep, want to. No, but they say oh, they're like, no, you have to keep playing, going. You keep playing it out. And then, then at some point you just say to yourself, but I die. Is that going to happen? <laughs> and it's like, no. It's the worst. No. no. I think we've said this many, many times. I think a lot of us have a lot of things, but I think it's our lack of sleep that makes it way, way, way worse. Sure. So I think as a high functioning, apparently anxious person, <laughs> I wouldn't feel nearly as anxious if I just slept more. Yeah. Probably if. But uh, you can't because you're anxious. More sleep and less caffeine. I think I'd be a lot calmer. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's totally it. Okay. Let's try that tonight. And what, you see you tomorrow around three in the afternoon? Because uh, we'll sleep from like all night. So then what happens if we both miss the show? <laughs> can we both get in trouble or does it cancel each other out if we both sleep through it? I imagine a meeting where we're in trouble, but I want you to know in that meeting, I'm just going to say, hey guys, what if we just pretend it didn't happen? Yeah, just don't know. Like, you guys will just actually let's do this. If we decided to really take a step in the right, you know, healthy direction towards that and we miss the show tomorrow, can we just all promise to not tell on us? Just don't tell well, our boss no texting. Our boss he won't even listen. notice. He doesn't even listen. Totally won't even notice. So don't if we put just it in a text. Commit to not saying anything. I think we'll be fine. Okay. I mean, I'm good with that. The riot has now been downloaded. Uh, I hope you installed some antivirus. This is the worst of the riot podcast. So, Nikki, did you see the new... Actually, let's go back another step. Did you see Knives Out? Knives Out? I did not. I have a cups because I think Eric went and saw it. So I just have a one of those movie theater cups of it. <laughs> it was actually like... Um, I think she's about to tell me something I've never heard of because no, she's going to tell me 
Oh, what's a cups? No, the. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I know what you mean now. When you I go know with like, the commemorative cup yeah. that the movie theater we would go to used to do. So I think he saw it, but I've seen it on Prime. I just haven't watched it yet. Yeah. All right. Knives Out. It's, it did uh, well. It, it did, did very really well. well. You know what? It's a good movie. Did you see it? Yeah. I did. I did. I watched it and I just thoroughly enjoyed it. It's kind of a whodunit. It has a much more kind of old school vibe than uh, <laughs> movies do today. Like it's a very specific kind of movie. And was I that loved the it. sweater one or is that the different one? Do you remember the sweater thing? The trend? Uh, that wasn't this one. The Nikki, one guy. Okay. Here's the thing. <laughs> If you're this? telling me about a fashion trend that was you don't bit, notice, I'm okay. not going to know. All right, yeah. never mind. Yeah, do you want to talk about the 4K Blu-ray disc it was released on? Because I do know it came from uh, 4K Di, mm-hmm. and uh, they say that it would look spectacular. I no, didn't I haven't see it seen there. it. Well, no. Netflix. What happens first off? Let's guess. What happens when a movie does really well? Anybody um, guess? People make money? Well, they do not one, but two sequels to it. Yeah, that's the thing, right? You don't get one sequel anymore. You, you get two. You yeah. get two. They feel they just figure that it works better to maybe, I don't know, film them at the same time or just tell the actors that they're committed to doing two more of them. Yeah. Um, so that's what's going on with Knives Out. Well, Knives Out uh, apparently is getting two sequels and they're Netflix movies. Like, so Netflix just, bought them? Netflix bought them allegedly, reportedly. Four hundred and fifty million dollars. So much money. Uh, so that's much a lot. Money. But uh, they say that because it did so well, like money wise, when it was in theaters, and it's a ninety seven percent on Rotten Tomatoes. So it was actually considered just a very well done movie. It's good. So they it really is. They want to put the money into it. So four hundred fifty million dollars. Daniel Craig will uh, be in both of them. Yep. And that'll be on Netflix then for the Knives Out sequels. They're doing two. And Ryan Johnson will write and direct. He was right. I'll tell you this. I don't like the Last Jedi, but Ryan Johnson is a spectacular mm-hmm. writer director. He just is. Like even if you don't, it's one of those things. Like, even if you don't like his stuff, you can't deny his talent. Yeah. It's he's just good so they're like uh saying in this article that netflix comes out with a lot of netflix movies they spend a lot of money on stuff so much now can we all agree none of it um some of it is not the best quality yeah i'm trying to think of an actual like netflix i mean trying yeah trying they they do put out a lot of netflix branded stuff i don't think there has been a movie like their high profile movie releases like around christmas or whatever I, I think the only one that I've really genuinely liked was probably the first Christmas Chronicles movie. Mm. I really liked that. Um, Not the second, but... Oh, the second was a <laughs> But see, remember they're doing like the every week a big blockbuster yeah, yeah. movie and the fact that it hasn't really no hit the mark with a lot it, of yeah. it. But they're saying that Netflix wants to spend more money on trying to get bigger names and bigger... Uh, just bigger movies because yeah. they're feeling a bit that they're underwhelmed compared to the HBO Max stuff because those are all big. Yeah. And Disney, because those Disney releases are all coming to Disney Plus, and those are also all pretty big styles to them. So Netflix now needs to maybe not spend as much on some of the lesser quality. Stupid stuff. Yeah, they need to put more money in some bigger names. It remind, Netflix, to me, has become the, like, if... If you spent time, I used to work in a movie store and a music store was like a place and, um, you know, you would always get those movies that were like, hey, here's Pacific Rim, but you get Atlantic Rim. That's what Netflix feels like to me. Atlantic Edge. Yeah, like they're better, (laughs) like they're better than that. Sure. But they still are this dumping ground for things where you're like. That would have never made it yeah. if you guys hadn't bought it. In case you're wondering, yes, we do get complaints. They have gone too far. This time, they are going to be held accountable. You're listening to The Riot on Radio U. What is the worst environment imaginable? Now, and you could say something like, we're all on fire. Now, I mean, as a society, what's one of the worst environments that we create tolerate, live in, operate in. I mean, let's be honest. It's the airport. (laughs) Because there we all are. 
mad. We spent money we didn't have to take trips that we didn't want to take. You're like, that's not always true. Yeah, it is. Well, everybody's so stressed to get there, stressed while you're waiting, stressed to get on the plane, to go to your vacation. And then they're like, put your hands up. We got these <laughs> x-ray glasses. We want to see you naked. And then you go through that and they're like, take your shoes off. Why? We don't know. Just take them off. It reinforces our authority. So is, are that, you, is that the reason? You know what? If you don't take your shoes off, we're going to rip your pants off. Make your call. I don't think they say that. Well, they don't say it like that, I mean, but isn't that the truth? Like, oh, you don't want to take your shoes off? Well, we got a little room for you over here. Hey, I'm TSA approved. I don't what have to take my shoes off. For? <laughs> Wait, where are we going? Where are we going, guys? <laughs> the airport. It's a tough place. But during COVID, you know, airlines have had to make some allowances. Yeah. Some exceptions including like Delta Airlines, for example, couldn't sell the middle seat. Oh, is that what they did? Oh, to kind of space people out. Every time I've seen some video of like a meltdown on a plane or a not doing this, not doing that, though, every seat's it's, full. I know it's all full. So like when did Delta know. or when did these planes have this uh, no middle seat selling thing? I don't know. Because that's not what I've seen. I haven't seen it either. But I'm just, I, you know, Delta's Nikki, I'm just, just saying that they I'm were. I'm just reading it to you. And I just want you to know that uh, April 14th, Delta says they're bringing food and drinks back. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Uh, They also said they've extended credits for canceled flights through the end of 2022, which is good news for me because they told me that I had to travel by June. Oh, you have credits to Delta? I do. I do. Um, And then uh, they say that they're back to, as of May 1st, opening up the middle seat. So So if you're booking, that's right. So any flights booked after May 1st, you, everybody loves sitting in the middle seat. Gosh, that's the worst. Isn't it, that wonderful? It probably was really nice to not have someone in the middle seat. Just, you know. I don't have nice any trip. doubt. I don't have any <laughs> doubt that that's true. But they want to sell the seats. So they say that most major airlines have gone back to booking their middle seats, especially if you were booking a trip for like this summer. Mm-hmm. So that will start May, uh, May 1st for Delta, along with their other stuff, uh, to kind of bring it back to how flying was more of a normal way where you really hated it uh, before COVID. Isn't it great? Yeah, that's exciting. Oh, now you can man. be even closer together. Arr. Doesn't make me feel anxious or nervous. In <laughs> fact, all, I feel right? like how calm I am right now. I know. I, it is It is funny. And everybody always is it getting brings, hotter in here? Everybody always brings this up on, you know, the trip into the plane, like going through the airport. Everybody wants to keep everybody as far away from each other as possible. But then when you get on the plane, you're like, all right, let's get closer than possible. Everybody hunched together. Yeah. Yep, nope, closer, closer. You're not close <laughs> enough. So you're like, well, why Why all the effort leading up to it? It's so true. So that starts May 1st for Delta. Other airlines have already started selling the middle seat. Yeah. And if you're flying Delta, they're bringing back food and drink starting on April 14th. Well, I've got a middle something for you. Everything you love about the Riot, plus a handy dandy fast forward option. This is the worst of the Riot podcast. On iOS or Android. Radio U. Traffic update. Take a look at the roadways in central Ohio. We've got one accident, Westerville Road at Oakland Park, but the rest of the freeways are clear. Uh, In Dayton, I'm still not sure what's causing it, but there's a major backup, 75 southbound, uh, almost all the way back to Vandalia, so be careful in that area. Also got an accident, Smithville Road at Woodbine. Today, mostly cloudy. Snow and rain showers are possible. High 37. Tomorrow, sunny. High 45. It is 29. The Riot with Obadiah and Nikki on Radio U. It is the riots on Radio U, 8772-RADIO-U. And a little bit after show, we'll join us on Facebook so you can watch us hang out and try some new Peeps flavors at Radio U Riot on Facebook. You know what I discovered last night? Uh, my roommates are on spring break, so they're all gone. And uh, I've discovered that louder is better. Because no one else is around? Since no one's there, I was just <laughs> like, I'll just turn this up. You know what? <laughs> I'm going to turn it up just a little bit more. Tiny bit more. You don't care about neighbors, though? Well, I mean, I'm in a house, right? Uh, like, sometimes you can still hear. I'm in a house in a basement? Like, you should still pop outside just in case. Just, just to, to get make, a feel for Depending it. on how loud are you going to make it. Okay. Well, um, 
You know, Nikki, <laughs> some of my neighbors don't seem to care that they have 400 million dogs that bark all day. Okay. Do you uh, see how you see... just turned it back on them? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm just, yeah, I do. I'm just saying <laughs> that, that they're uh, just as bad. Uh, I'll be honest. <laughs> if they're like, huh, I hear a little rumble. Can't claim to be too concerned right now. Okay, I see what you mean. I mean, my neighbor had his dogs out at like 3.30 the other morning. And oh, I was just, gosh. I assume the dogs probably had to go to the bathroom. And I get it. Sometimes I have to potty at night, too. Yeah, but you don't go barking the whole time. I don't. I don't, I don't lift my window and go, hey, neighborhood, I have to go to the bathroom. Which is the equivalent of the barking dog at 3 a.m. I don't do that. So. All right. Well, then I bet you're fine. And yes, louder would be better then. Do you feel like was was what just happened between us here? Oh, was I can that tell too it's, much? You really are upset about it. So, you know, I try to be cool about neighbors having dogs. Like, great. They have a dog. They but love they and have you know the what? responsibility I, to keep their pets quiet, if possible, mostly during the overnight hours. I, from, from Maya and Nikki, I think about you and Eric a lot. I think about the fact, like, what your dogs mean to you. And because you guys mean something to me, I, I, like, a transitive property. Sure. I'm like, hey, so these I people, dogs. like, therefore, you know what? Like, don't, Obadiah, you don't have dogs because one, you're a bad person and two, you're allergic. So, just but most dog owners don't go do that. They're usually very aware and they want to make sure that their dogs behave. So like I I have 3 dogs. I don't send them all out cuz when they go out together it's a party and they can't control themselves sometimes. So what if it's the morning or overnight you just send them out one at a time so they don't go barking. It's fine. I'm fine with it. It's no big deal. <laughs> I think wait, you wait, need can to... I get back to you? louder is better. Yeah. I just want you to know that last night when I uh I guess I, let's see, I normally have it, I don't know what those, I don't know if those numbers are decibels, like, on my receiver, but I normally keep it somewhere between 50 and 60, Yeah. and last night I was at, like, 70, 73. That's a big jump right there. Yeah. That's a big jump. You know, a lot of subtle things just started leaving out. Did you feel it? Yeah. That's better. I know. Yeah. Oh, and awesome. then, if you watched Godzilla versus Kong today. I did Kong not, today, but I will, but I will. Guess what you might do? <gasps> Turn it up even more. Might be like, hey, bring the dogs over. I can't hear them now. Send them out. It's a great time for it. <laughs> well, uh, that, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. You're by yourself. Why not? You're listening to The Riot. Let's all work together today to live life with the patience of a Nikki dealing with an Obadiah. Gotta hang in there and get through it. You're listening to The Riot. So, Nikki, you know it's April Fool's Day. Yeah. Okay. Or so. will we be doing a Facebook event? <laughs> the joke is you'll be sitting there all day waiting for it to You're come on, waiting. and then it doesn't come on. And there's nothing, and that's the joke. <laughs> Well, it certainly is a day to be skittish because... You're nervous because you're not sure if someone's being serious with something or not. Yeah, I just read an article about... I. It took me like five minutes after to finally get it, but it was like, uh, we just found all these PlayStation 5s, and so stores are getting a fresh shipment today. And I was like, wow, that's really cool. And they're like, and they're 75% off. And I was like, oh, all right. There it is. There it is. That was... I wasn't very, I mean, I don't want one, but it still wasn't very nice. Well, it's, that's hitting people when they're down. Hit them where they live. Hit them really hard. Uh, you know, we get afraid. And if, I don't know. I just walk through life like that, quite frankly, where I'm just like always a little on edge. And when people, somebody says something nice and I'm like, hmm, not sure if serious. <laughs> um, I I don't know. But I I I say all this to say. That in a relationship with God, do you know what you don't have to do? You don't have to walk around waiting for the April Fool's joke, right? Where you're just like, God's like, I love you. April Fool's, you suck. <laughs> um, that's you're not, not waiting for that to drop. No, it's not going to happen. God actually, I in my relationship with God, what I have found is he has a great sense of humor. Uh, God actually invented laughter, which when you when you really start thinking about that, that's an amazing thing. Uh, but he he's not going to pull some mean prank on you. Seriously, like he's not looking for a way like things are going great. He's not looking to pull the rug out from underneath you. He's not looking to make your life harder and he's not looking to hurt you and then laugh scornfully as you sit there. I, I feel like it's important to get that out because I think some of us are afraid of that. Maybe not because specifically we think God is like that, but we've just experienced it so many other times, 
so many other places, different relationships that we just assume this is going to go the same way. Well, let me tell you something. No relationship you have had. I, well, maybe that's not fair, but most relationships we have, they don't set us up for a relationship with God because God is so different. He loves you so much. He's not looking to hurt you. He's not looking to mock you. He's not even looking to lecture you. He's looking to love you. And in that loving relationship with him, it's, well, it's just different. And so I would just challenge you with this thought. If you're a little afraid and you're like, yeah, I know how stuff like this ends. You know what? Try it for yourself. Get to know Jesus for who he really is. Just say, Jesus, I want to know you come into my life. Fill me with your spirit. I want to have a relationship with you and show me who you really are. He loves you. No jokes. We're listening to the worst of the riot radio. You well, it's been a big week for me. And I don't want to brag or anything, but I got a couple of emails this morning that I am like super excited about. You have? Yeah. (laughs) First off, uh, I got an email here. I don't know if you know this, but Nikki, I am uh, a member of the coffee club. You are? Black Rifle Coffee. Oh, you signed up for the club itself or the... Oh, yeah. You did? Is that the monthly thing or just... Yeah, it is because it was was cheaper. I thought I'd give it a shot. Here's the amazing thing. I actually have first access to (laughs) deals and new releases, exclusive (laughs) products, Uh and uh giveaways with partner discounts. Nice, nice. (laughs) That's crazy. Yeah, look at those deals. Holy crap. (laughs) Then here's the That's other thing. One email. That's only one. <laughs> all right. Here here's where things get insane. All right. I'm back, baby. It's real. <laughs> I'm gold status again. For your at the gas station. Oh, uh, you are the Duchess. I'm back on top. You have to go so many times Woo! per month. And you can lose it if you don't keep it up month by month. But uh he does that because of his sodas that Man, he gets. With gold status. I get all the bronze perks and the silver perks. All I get one. double points for the entire month, and I'm getting more instant wins. So you got you got that I in email? Had any instant wins yet? Well, maybe now that you are seeing that again, dude. Wow, like it's unreal. Anything else email wise? Or those it? It's just about your loyalty programs. It's weird. I mean, I just explained to you all of these amazing <laughs> things like that I'm getting. And did my tone not seem to back and that up? You, you're just like, is that all? And well, it's like, it man, seems is that like not enough? Your emails were all about, you know, the loyalty stuff where you have to do something in the first place. It's right. not like it's just a freebie or something that they, they did for you. You had to do your own part of it. Nikki, it's a symbiotic relationship, okay? They're making all these things available mm-hmm. and then I am making it possible for them to make it available through my purchases. Okay. And the fact that they're acknowledging my faithfulness by sending this email. With your perks. <laughs> and the fact that they're looking at me going like, uh-uh, bro, no, you're gold. <laughs> you're, you're VIP. Go- you're not bronze. You're not silver. You're gold. I don't know if you know this, Nikki, but gold is... Is the best metal that, you can get. Is that the top? That's is that it? it? Yeah. yeah. The gold from your first loyalty program yeah. that you were in. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's right. I sold it. You sold it. <laughs> but still. Oh, well, you know what? Just keep checking your email. You don't know what else might be in there. You know what we should do? We should all start taking all of the stuff. Like, we should start taking the stuff really seriously. Like, when you, instead of just being like, ah, who cares? I got a gold and email. Yeah. It. yeah. And read the read the things that are available to you. Wow. See what you can get. That's something. Don't say you don't have anything. Look at you. Look at me. I'm gold. You can be gold too. It's the worst of the riot on Radio U. All right, Nikki. Yeah? I've got a plan. A plan? Yeah. Um, I've got a rope. Uh-uh. We're going to find ourselves onto the roof. Uh-huh. And then we're going to rappel down. Ooh. And steal those Pokemon cards. We are? I didn't know that's the plan for today. We've never done that before. That's how we're going to make it happen. Where are we getting the Pokemon cards that we're stealing? Well, okay. Is it the McDonald's stuff still? The thing is, like, (laughs) I still don't know. I've read through this article. I tried to find it somewhere else. It's on Vice. uh, And I can't find out where 
this happened mm-hmm. uh, ex- exactly. But what we've got here is a Japanese guy, Kinsuke Nakanishi. He's an IT worker in Tokyo. He used a rope to climb down the side of a six-story building, mm-hmm. and he stole nine thousand dollars worth of Pokemon cards. Really, uh, Pokemon and Yu Gi Oh. So, like, not yeah. There were eighty of them, totaling nine hundred dollars. So, eighty cards, ten-ish a piece. Sure. Whatever. He said he did it to pay off debt. So the police arrest him. What I think is really impressive is he just tied the rope to a railing. Oh, it no, just went down that way? No harness. Oh, boy. Six, this is a six foot tall building, and this guy just uses a rope. Maybe he was more familiar with uh, rappelling like that. Well, it says that he was in his high school's rock climbing oh, so club. So he's fine. He knows how to do that. He broke the window, took the trading cards, uh, and that was it. Wow. So he's not afraid of heights or anything. He could he could rappel like that just fine. It's just crazy. So they used surveillance footage and arrested him. And they've been a, just like here, there's been a surge of demand during uh, COVID for Pokemon Go yeah. and just Pokemon in general. And then they had the big deal with McDonald's here. So a lot of people hear one of those cards. Um, so they've seen a surge in that. The thing everybody wants to know is, hey, uh, which cards did he steal? Which ones? <laughs> Which one was it? Can you tell me which one he had? (laughs) This is fascinating. eBay reported, the report came back like in February, but from 2019 to 20 in the United States, Pokemon cards increased the sales of it by 574%. So that is a big increase. So what, we're all just staying inside playing they Pokemon? They say it's the nostalgic factor of it, all making right. you feel better. Everybody's just staying in, playing that. Just buying stuff. Yeah, it just became popular again, even yeah. though for some, it never went away. <laughs> no, it didn't. I mean, I'm not on that list, but... <laughs> I like this guy, though. You got to give him credit. Like, for some, when you steal something, you take the money, you go do something else with it. He's just paying off his debts. <laughs> Trying to do something okay. with it. That does say something. When you say that he's trying to pay off his debts, I don't feel like oh, he's not, talking about his credit, credit cards card or his medical bills, okay? Are you sure? I think he may be trying to pay off. Did he borrow other a money? Different kind uh, of debt. All right. Mm-hmm. Now, I can't be sure, but I, I really think that's the case. Worst, Worst of, of the, the riot. riot. Radio U. Nikki, yeah, look at me. Yeah. No, no, no. W- whatever you're looking at, I'll stop. Look at me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. I want you to remember me this way. Oh, because you don't know what today's going to bring. Because I don't know what's going to happen. You're going to be fine. Don't worry about it. You're you're making yourself anxious for no reason. Well, it just comes down to uh, even you know, though every time something happens, <laughs> it's been. Uh, it, <laughs> You know, what is that song from Star Trek Enterprise? It's been a long road okay. getting from there to here. That's what you're you're bringing up is something we're supposed to know. It's been a long time, something, but my time is finally here. <laughs> Obi today has an appointment. We're doing an after show here. I will see In my dream come alive at last. <laughs> On our Radio Uriah Facebook page. I will so touch the sky. hop over there. But then after that, Obi will be getting his <laughs> first COVID vaccine shot. Maybe I only get one. Maybe I'm getting the J&J. Oh, yeah, that would be nice. I would love that, actually. Yeah, that way you could just have it all done. Yeah, so that it's today. I just want you to remember me like this. I, I Because if things go bad, please let this be what you remember, not the other. Not everything else. <laughs> Whatever just, follows. I feel like you just got over that uh, sinus infection, too. Like, you're finally feeling better from that. Oh, I, I am starting to genuinely feel like myself again. Which means <laughs> you're right about time for something else. <laughs> Here's how we know. Here's how we know that things are about to go south again. I actually was just thinking, you know what? I'm, I'm, ready. I'm gonna go. I'm going to go to the gym today. I'm going to try to fit in the gym. And every time. Don't do that. Every time, every time I've You're started not able back, to. Every time I've started back at the gym, it's just been like, I know, uh, I'll take positive steps towards ending everything. Just, just too much. <laughs> you know better than that. You can't do it. I'm really not. I'm not going back today. I actually thought I was like, you know what? You're going on vacation next week. Let's not rock the boat. Go get your just, vaccine. Go watch, uh, you know, uh, Kong and, you know, Godzilla. 
Go, maybe let's plan on doing the show tomorrow. Crap. No, I. You have to do the show tomorrow, I and swear. then next week you can just enjoy, like enjoy the weekend, and next week you can have your vacation and the shakes and the fevers and like whatever. Surprise! Whatever happens, happens. You know, come what may. Oh, no. <laughs> come <laughs> what. May. You're gonna be fine. <laughs> I will love you. <laughs> Till my die. Wait. Why don't you? Till my vaccination day. Why don't you um, just, just relax? Just relax and just be surprised because I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> be I mean, strange. like you think I'll I know pump. a lot of people and some have had some I know problems, a lot of people, too, you know, who've had the vaccine and some have had some problems and some have been just fine. So you know let's what? Just I see know what a happens. lot of people that have had COVID and they were like, yeah, it was a runny nose. Yeah, it was this. Wait, you're telling me you're still having symptoms six months later? That's weird. You should go to a specialist. Let's go. Even before Let's all COVID, go to the specialist. Okay. Let's all go to the specialist. Do you have a specialist. song for everything? Yeah. First, OB, putting COVID aside, it just has this talent where if something is going to be harder than how normal it is for everybody else, it's going to happen to him. It just it's, That's how it always has been for you. But today we buck the trend. This Today, is <laughs> this is it, Nikki. Today, just, we turn it around. Listen, just go get your vaccine shot. Don't worry about it. Get your donut afterwards. Go watch your movie. Go rest. And then we'll see you tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm don't text right me now. today. Don't don't anything. I just, I want to hear it all tomorrow. Okay. Because then otherwise I'm going to think you're just saying you can't come in. <laughs> So we'll I'm just wait ha- it okay. out till tomorrow. I'm going to have to text you about it today. Okay, once it's done, but then that's but it. Listen, I'm going to be here tomorrow. Okay. Okay? Like last week, I was gone on Tuesday. No, I I thought I was almost over that sinus infection until I slept for four hours. That was well, Okay, so don't fall asleep today. Just wait till tonight. Don't take okay. a nap today. All right. Okay. This was the worst of the riots, and we'd like to congratulate you on having the stomach to stick around to the very end. <laughs> The riot exists because Radio U exists, and Radio U only exists because of your support. Find out more and give now at RadioU.com slash donate. The riot likes to come in here, do a live show, and drink a lot.